The family of a Fort Cavasso soldier who died shared their memories tonight about who he was and how the Army handled the case. Six News reporter Jordan Sarter Francis spoke to Sergeant Alfredo Martinez's brother. And Jordan, what did he have to say? Lindsay, the family is under legal advice to not speak directly about the case surrounding the death of Sergeant Martinez, but they opened up to me about who he was in and out of uniform. Sergeant Martinez loved to play basketball and stay fit. His brother Adrian said Martinez was the best person he knew. He described him as a person who would make his family a priority when he was on leave from the Army. His nieces really looked up to him. Sergeant Martinez died on August 27, 2023, according to his obituary, but the Army never released details on the cause of his death. But two soldiers at Fort Cavazos are now facing charges related to the murder of a sergeant. That happened the same day Sergeant Martinez died. Six News did get a heavily redacted copy of the charge sheet for Specialist Renee Heber, who is charged with obstruction of justice and lying to investigators regarding a shooting death that occurred on or around August 27th on Fort Cavazos. Sergeant Martinez's brother is highly critical of the Army in regards to his brother's death. They really weren't honest about what happened to him in the first place because they came when he passed away or when they took his life they when they came they came and gave one story and then they came and gave another story Sergeant Martinez's brother would not go on about the details of the stories the Army told on advice of family lawyers. The other soldier is being charged is Specialist Nicholas Lowry, who court records show is being charged with murder. Fort Cavazos has not released his charge sheet despite our requests has not been revealed the name of the murder victim. Lowry will stand trial for murder on May 6. Herbert's trial is scheduled to begin May 20th. Lindsay. Well, Jordan, I know you'll stay on top of this case. Thank you so much for that report. Meantime,